Hello everybody, it's your favorite West Virginia on Space here, and in case you didn't know, I really like tabletop RPGs. Big surprise, I've talked about it quite a few times on the channel. But one of the ones I haven't really talked about yet is Scion, 2nd Edition, which I'm quite a big fan of, despite never getting to play it or run it, but I'm trying, I'm trying, okay? But, one of the things I thought about when reading the book Mysteries of the World was the idea of making a pantheon or other characters in fiction as gods. And of course, one of the ones that popped up because of how much it's been on the news lately is Mortal Kombat 1, and specifically Fire God Luke Kang. Basically, how would he work in the realm of Scion? Well, I thought that was an interesting question, so let's see how you would build him in Scion. To give a basic overview of the world of Scion, because not many people know about it, it's basically just like our own, except for the fact that the different pantheons like the Greek, Egyptian, Norse, etc, etc, are real and very public knowledge. They are also very horny for mortal men and women, and from these unions come the Scions. Think of it basically like Hercules. And these Scions go on many epic quests and adventure, fighting monsters and gaining fame and glory, slowly growing through the many tiers of power until they eventually can join the pantheons themselves or die trying. Now for this video, I'm taking aspects of Liu Kang from across all three different timelines of Mortal Kombat to get a better picture of his full character for the sake of this video, and you'll see why in a second. Overall in this game, a god is built around two main aspects, their callings and their purviews. The calling is like what their major archetype is, like what do they do, what's their main purpose behind why they do it, and that kind of thing. A purview is more closer to their more traditional powers they have, like power over the sky, the sea, or law, or something like that. Overall, it's not a heavy hard concept to get once you understand. It. Now, in this game, all gods, no matter who they are or how powerful, have exactly three callings, and of course, they must pick from the list, and you get the idea. The three I picked for Liu Kang are Creator, he's the creator of the new timeline with the Hourglass, so that just seems to fit pretty well. Guardian, because that's kind of his whole purpose in many ways. He, he guards and tries to protect humanity, and Sage, mostly due to his love of wisdom, well, not his love of wisdom, but he has quite a bit of knowledge, especially in the new era, so I think it quite fits, and I just think it makes sense, and also because I couldn't really find anything that I think fits for him. Now, for purviews, which is a bit more complicated, first one I gave him was Beast, specifically with a focus on dragons. He's had a long focus with dragons, that kind of thing. It's in his motif, he can turn into a dragon on occasion, and overall, it just seems to be a very an important aspect of his character that I gave this to him. The next one is Death. Now, this might sound weird, but he's died or been like three different types of undead across the series, so I feel in the main timelines, so I feel it's only appropriate to give him this purview over Death and all that jazz. The third one is Epic Dexterity. This, I think, makes sense if you think about it. He's a Kung Fu master, the bicycle kick, all these kind of Kung Fu moves that he's a master of, even since the first game, so it makes the most sense. And for the final one, I'm giving him fire. I don't think I need to explain why Liu Kang is fire. I mean, he is entitled multiple times as the God of Fire, so I feel like if I didn't put that there, I'd be doing a war crime. So overall, this is the list of how you build Liu Kang. So now with this list, if your GM approves, you can now build your sign to be a son or a daughter of Liu Kang. Of course, he doesn't have a pantheon of his own, so you're either going to have to slot him in one or use the no pantheon rule that um, Cyan has in the um, Mysteries of the World book. But overall, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's like at least fun. Hopefully, it gets more people interested in Cyan. And if this video gets 100 views and 5 likes, I will do some other Mortal Kombat characters and add them in the same fashion. So overall, if you enjoyed the video, please comment down below and share it all around. And, you know, give me any thoughts you have on the video, and I'll see you all next time. Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscriber. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.